Let me tell you a story. This is a story about a little boy. Well, you'd say, wow, he's awful tall and skinny. Well, yeah, his name's Slim. Well, Slim is all the time doing things to get in trouble. In fact, he's in trouble from the time he gets up in the morning to the time he goes to bed at night. When he goes to school or where he's, when he's at home, he's doing things to get in trouble all of the time. In fact, he's in trouble morning, noon, and night. In fact, he's in trouble so much of the time that people just say that he is a naughty boy. Oh, but Slim doesn't like to be in trouble, and so he has to do a lot of things to try to get out of trouble. You know what he does sometimes in order to get out of trouble? He tells a lie. But class, if you tell a lie, what does that do? I tell you, that only creates more trouble. And so Slim says, I know what. In fact, some people say that Slim could get in trouble so easy, he could get in trouble with one hand behind his back. And class, Slim could get in trouble with one hand behind his back, and it really didn't seem to matter which hand it was. Slim is in trouble all of the time. And so Slim says, I know what I need to do. I need to find a couple of friends to help me stay out of trouble. So he found his first friend, and he says, I want you to hang on to me good and tight so I never, ever get in trouble again. So his friend promised that he'd hang on and wouldn't let him get in trouble. He found a second friend. He says, I want you to hang on to me so I don't get in trouble either. But guess what, class? He's hanging around with two troublemakers. And guess what happens when you hang around with troublemakers? <laughs> you end up in trouble just like they do. So Slim says, obviously, I'm hanging around with the wrong crowd. Now, he saw some other kids, and they were going to Sunday school and church. Now, he had never been to Sunday school or church before, but he noticed that they were all dressed up, and some even had ties on. <laughs> Aren't you glad you don't have to wear a tie to church? Well, anyway, so Slim goes in his dad's closet, and he finds a tie, puts that on, and he's going to Sunday school and church. Now, when he gets there, you know what they're talking about? Talking about sin. Now, sin is like a great big knot in our life. Now, class, that teacher didn't know about those naughty things that Slim had done, but the teacher did know this. We've all done things that's naughty, and there's not one that's perfect. No, not one. Well, that day Slim heard about Jesus and heard that Jesus died on the cross to take away our sins. And so that day, Slim asked Jesus to come in and take his sin away. And that's exactly what happened. But class, just because we're Christians, does that mean we never do anything to sin? Oh, you know, we still do things that's wrong, don't we? But the Bible tells us that if we confess our sins to God, that He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And that's the story of Slim, the naughty boy.